I started by leaving at five on the dot and uh, hiked up a hill, glided from about 6.30 towards the Ashall turn point and then I was a little relaxed, had a alcohol free wheat beer. <laughs> and uh, welcome Nick to turn point three in Ashall. Thank you. Um, you were hiking in and obviously when, when, when we met you at the turn point you were asking for water and we got you a beer. How is that? Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I said I can't decide which hill to go up, but I think I might just stay here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Bavarian hospitality. Um, how did you get here? How was your how was your day yesterday? How was your morning? Well yesterday I didn't manage to get in front of that famous soaring sighted person, which was a bit of a bummer, but I did climb it in the evening and had a glide and I had a choice to whether to glide north or glide west. And I chose west because it meant that I could have a morning glide with no mountains in the way. If you climb up here and glide down, it's fine, but you sort of burn a bit of extra height, so it's mm -hmm. a bit of a waste. So I saved myself a bit of road walking and just had a nice hike and fly this morning. Okay, so that really was a tactical decision because we were thinking everyone else was sort of flying in the afternoon yesterday or in the evening on the other side of the ridge, but then you decided mm -hmm. to go west. Um, Not everyone, but yeah. How is your, what's your plan going forward now? Italy. <laughs> Italy, good, good, good plan. Uh, did you break it down into uh, specific tasks, or how do you go for it? Well, that's the first specific task. The next one is get to Monaco. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I like the approach. <laughs> Don't break it down too in too much detail. Um, but you were talking just to your supporters. Uh, whether you go up here or there, any decisions yet, or what does it depend yeah. on for you? There's more pilots up here, so it might be easier to fly in a gaggle in the weak conditions at the start of the day. But there's a lot more topography as well that might help it be less flushed by the wind with some, some um, mountain wind coming down at the moment which I felt on the glide but that should stop and turn into valley wind later in the day. This one if I bomb out I can just glide towards the next big spiky peak and, and hike and fly from there so it's hard to make a decision they're probably both good. Okay and you're still weighing the options. All right. Bit of a slippery shortcut. Be, this will be under snow until relatively recently, but it's going to get me back onto the sunny ridge. Just launched. Mushroom. came up with the last little way. There wasn't a lot of scratching today. Um, just got boosted up to, I think it was over 2,000 meters way higher than the cloud a little to the north towards the Bavarian Flats and uh, went on this big long glide but where I was gliding to was in shade and there's kind of a fairly small spot so I landed without mucking around too much. I'll try from here, it's better. Hiked up again. We tried to launch off the top of this thing. Got some help off some guys, but um, it was really too steep and the wind wasn't really helpful. So went down a bit and launched through singing nettle instead. But all good. Good thermal and that was the main flight of the day, pushing forward over the Vilde Kaiser, all these steep, uh, rocky peaks, and then got a climb just over the top of a ski field and then in the lead a little bit, a sort of softer country, 
in between the front country and the, the main range. And then followed along the main range and uh, crossed over to get in to Gurlos Pass. The cloud there was really working so I thought I was all sweet but actually the clouds sort of died um, as I got to the high alpine chain and ended up sort of spending too much time in there mucking around um, finally getting out but slow among the peaks which is awesome but maybe not the most time efficient. So that's the main divide there and this crossing was probably the biggest worry in terms of all the snow. There's a huge amount of snow there this season, uh, really unseasonable. I think it's the most I've ever had. All the rivers are really full but it was uh, pretty cool just to poke around up in this high country. I'm not sure if there's anyone staying at that hut. I don't see a lot of footprints. By the time we got to Kronplatz, there's just showers everywhere. So I landed high at two and a half thousand meters on a patch of snow. It's actually pretty cool. I used my kiting skills like just mucking around when I uh, landed. I just sort of glissaded along 10 meters of snow because I wanted to drop my wing on the edge of the snow. Probably would have been better to drop it in the snow though because the rocks were quite sharp and they caught all the lines. The Danish fellow behind me decided to do the same thing and I just saw him just disappear out of view and he apparently dropped his glider in all those sharp rocks. How good's that? Woo! Pity we uh, didn't get in earlier before the rain, but. Hold everyone, don't follow Nick. You're effectively getting behind the scenes here because I thought I'd stopped recording. I got a call from the safety director. Hello, Jürgen. Yeah, thanks for um, calling me. Um, I understand it's an odd place to land, but I was just blocked by showers. There's no snow where I am. I mean, there's patches of snow, but I'm sitting on grass. Have you, have you heard from the other pilot? Because I saw him land. Um, I, I actually, I'm glad yeah, you're okay, yeah. I think I might um, bail. Yeah, I might get rained on a tiny bit, but... The Danish guy's okay, I, and he's uh, walking down because his glide is tangled. I'm going to have a quick glide between showers. along with the harness on and the wing over my shoulders and there's something about the smell of Italy, the, the dry air, but raindrops falling through it. Anyway, I took off after seeing that he was okay, talked to Jürgen, the safety director as well, gave me a call, he's keeping an eye on us. Uh, anyway, um, took off after about 10 minutes of, 15 minutes of rain maybe, landed somewhere 
and met the valley breeze and then it was sort of rainy again so I landed, walked a couple of k's and then got to this launch which is really flat, had to clear some trees and power lines and did heaps of ground handling, if you see my ground track sort of going all over the shop before I eventually took off, that's why, I was ground handling to sort of test out the air and see if I was going to make it and uh, to get the best height I could to, to jump off from. Uh, so I made it, but probably there was a better launch around the corner. Started going straight up and basically no penetration, uh, which is fine, I had the speed up my sleeve, but um, it was all black towards Cromplutz and there's still showers around. Uh, so oh, there's these beautiful rainbows in front of me that I put on um, Instagram. Anyway, uh, I, I sort of started heading towards Cromplutz and I kept going up and I thought, shit, because lightning's... Uh, you know, flashing every now and then, and it's just black that way, so I thought, better not get too close to this thing. So I went away, I thought I'll give it a bit of a chance to cool down maybe, or maybe I'll bank the height and go on the slope opposite, glide in later. But then I came back not that much longer, and it all died. But of course I was real cautious that time, so I landed about 800 metres below the summit of Cromplutz. So then I went for a walk, initially I thought I'd bag it and fly off, then I thought, oh, I've got to walk through all this wet grass to get a shortcut, probably not worth it, but then I saw a gate that might mean that my supporters couldn't get up there, all the way. I just landed in front of that uh, barn and ran it over to the road so it wouldn't get wet in the wet grass, check out that awesome view, and now let's get a move on because if I get up to Cromplot quick, I even might be able to fly down tonight if it's not raining, but okay, so I started really rushing when I hit that gate, and then I got off the hill, which is fantastic because it's all like ski infrastructure, gravel roads, mud, melting snow, and uh, it wasn't that pretty place to spend a night, but here it just smells like, Italy smells so amazing, and uh, yeah, it's a dry air over here, it's not sort of damp like Austria, and uh, yeah, there's just beautiful old houses, and this is just a gravel road, but I was walking through some beautiful stone paths, and uh, about to meet up with the car, get a feed. There's a little creek, so we'll, might have a wash in that after walking up the road a bit and then call it a day. So we've made a big valley crossing and um, got some reasonably high mountains over 2,000 metres to start from tomorrow. So it should be another good day. Don't think about the fact that everyone's miles ahead, but uh, <laughs> at least we're not going to get eliminated at this rate, so keep on plugging away at it.